What if I say coding jobs, one of the high paying jobs in the world, will fade away in 10 years? I'm not here to create fear among programmers, but my intention is just to give some motivation to be ready with future consequences, especially if you are a student or early professional who is looking to build your career in IT or software development. You must watch this video till the end. I'm going to share a few facts and realities about the future of coding jobs, especially for people who are looking to start their career. This video would really add a lot of value to you. Please watch till the end. So before starting the video, before starting my argument on why coding jobs will fade away in 10 years, let's see the evolution of programming in general. Earlier days, like coding was not really easy. Like it was a hard task. People use it to code using machine language, which has binary numbers, zero and one. Later, people started using assembly language, which is again the hardware programming language. Even to perform an addition, people need to write many lines of code. Later, uh, I mean, from assembly, the mid-level language evolution start. Because of machine language, it is very difficult to code. And even in the early assembly languages, it was really hard to code so people need to spend a lot of time and energy to code so there like mid-level language evolution has been started people use it to start early software development using language like c and c plus plus but again the complexity is still there we have created high level languages like python java php sql like the language that we are using currently to build web applications mobile applications or desktop applications so now we are in the high level languages zone so high level languages are basically they look like english lines with some logic that's it that is how we code in uh, present day right every day every generation the complexity of coding is going down right? i mean the intention of coding is to solve a problem that's it right if there is a problem and people write code to solve the problem to create some software solutions for the existing problems that is the intention of coding right so now no code has been creating a lot of impact in uh, problem solving industry or software industry i can say because there are tools like WordPress which can do the web development task easy. People don't need to write a lot of codes. Even to build backend logic, there are many plugins out there which are available now. And now with the evolution of many automation tools, the software development has been becoming easy. This raises a question. Are we going to lose coding jobs to no code and automation? One thing, the top 10% coders will anyway survive. So it's not that every coder, every programmer will get replaced by automation or AI. The top 10 coders will anyway survive because even to build complex AI systems and automation tools, companies or brands need people who can write code again in the backend. It might be high level language code or it might be using the knowledge that they had. Companies anyhow needed a top 10% of their coders because even in layoffs and uh, during the time of recession, companies will only leave the bottom 50% or bottom 20% but not the top 10% because they top top 10% contribute 90% of the work in the in any company I can say. Problem is not with them, the problem is with the bottom 90% coders. I've done more than six months of research to validate this. Those with advanced skills and adaptability will survive this shift anyway. Like I can say like 90% of the coders will only have the basic knowledge and that is not enough because the things are changing very rapidly so people who will adapt will anyway survive but others will have to uh, get their jobs replaced by artificial intelligence or automation tools that is for sure the other fact is like only two percent can actually write good code in the world if you can take 100 coders out of 100 only two can write good code good code in the sense which really produces impact to the organization the others will only do copy paste stuff or will only do the support stuff it is for true even consider your job uh, it might be you in your initial days or initial uh, four to five years of your job do you actually write code from scratch uh, you don't do in general like you only do support most of the cases people only do support people only do changes people only add fixes and features that's it that is what 98% of the coders do. Only 2% create code from scratch or build solutions from scratch. So they will anyway survive and that is the reality. If you can take countries like India, many of the MNC companies hire people just to give support to their uh, software development process, just to give support to the product that they have built. You are not allowed to code from scratch in any organization. Only few companies will take that and top 2% will survive in those organizations. That is what happening currently and that is the reality as well. So this also indicating the fact that only the top coders will survive and the rest will have to leave their jobs to automation. 
and other challenge is that the rise of automation tools so it might be chat gpt that we have been witnessing the coding has been very easy now with the help of chat gpt like no one needs to write line by line code these days because if you know what logic that you want to write what problem that you are solving you can you easily use tools like chat gpt and even there is a tool called auto gpt a github repository that will automate the entire coding process just by taking your inputs so you just need to know what to solve that's it writing coding is not really complex these days with the help of all these automation tools and even if you can see for web development and for android development there are many apps many no code apps out there like wordpress like you can literally build high quality website top class website using wordpress and even like businesses and e-commerce nowadays are using uh, tools like shopify to build their entire business entire digital business from scratch no code tools have been creating their impact in this space so not everyone need to write code from scratch to build uh, complex businesses and complex applications these days no code and automation tools are doing that so this is one factor which can strengthen this argument like right? why coding jobs will fade away in uh, coming years so again i am saying like oh the top 10% people will anyway survive because even to build these no code tools and complex automation applications uh, companies need those 10% coders is also one concerning factor of uh, i mean the it companies if you can see the reality of it companies not every company need top class coders especially if you consider countries like india like companies will hire people in mass numbers even you don't know how to code people will hire you for software engineer roles and that is the reality happening already so do you expect that like, companies will hire you for your coding knowledge no companies just need people that's it if you just have some good communication skills you can anyway uh, get hired by these companies but the thing is with the rise of automation tools companies are now thinking in different way like companies are planning to i can say use these automation tools use these ai tools to replace their workforce because a one person who can effectively use automation tools and ai tools is equivalent to 10 other persons who just uh, i mean do this support kind of roles in companies so this is the reality a person with good knowledge on uh, multiple skills like all these automation tools and ai tools can replace other 10 programmers easily so that is what is going to happen in the coming days i'm not in any means discouraging the programmers here my intention here is uh, i'm suggesting people to adopt to all the latest things whatever the latest is trending try to make your hands dirty on them because i can say like only top 10% will survive only people who are very much adaptive to all the latest trends and uh, technologies will survive others like will have to leave their jobs to ai and automation tools so that is the reason why you should always adopt to the latest trends and technologies even like the it companies are hiring in the same way at this moment you will hardly learn anything in your first 4 or 5 years and a company start adopting ai and automation tools then ultimately you will get laid off so that is what the reality is going to be so just make yourself prepared with all the technologies all the latest trends it's not that only your job will help you to survive in the future you also need to make sure you know all the latest trends and technologies at least the high level understanding of it the next decade is going to see some significant changes in coding and software development areas the job market will transform and that is what will happen for every decade you need to be prepared for that you need to prepare for the changes that are going to happen in the job market especially in this it field of course like it's a challenging but exciting as well because we'll get a lot of opportunities if you are someone who is always thriving who is always uh, energetic about learning new things you will any house are way because companies and brands these days need those kind of people comment down your opinion on what are you going to do in this fast growing field to stay relevant in the industry if you find this video informative and helpful please hit the like button and share this video network also if you are a new visitor please do subscribe to the channel for more such videos thank you for watching